Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sam from Historic Travels and welcome to another video. And as always, before we get started today, I'd just like to take a quick moment to welcome all my new subs and to thank everybody who's been leaving me comments and messages down below. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And if any of you out there would like to take a couple extra steps to help support the channel a little bit more, there's a merch store and a Patreon for this channel in the links below. Thank you all so much for all your support. All right, guys. So hey, for today's episode of Historic Travels, I'm going to try to answer a particular question about the Titanic. Have you all heard of the Titanic? You know, it was the biggest ship in the world in 1912. She hit an iceberg and sank on her maiden voyage. Have you all heard of the ship? Let me know if you have in the comments below. But anyway, it's common knowledge that the Titanic, in fact, had four funnels. But what not everyone realizes is that the Titanic's fourth funnel was actually a dummy funnel, meaning that it didn't funnel any of the smoke generated by the Titanic's boiler rooms out of the ship. However, as the Titanic was steaming across the Atlantic, many on board the ship noticed that a very small amount of smoke could be seen coming out of the fourth funnel as the ship was proceeding across the Atlantic. So, if the fourth funnel was fake, why was this? Did the fourth funnel have some other purpose that not that many people know about? Was the fourth funnel actually a working funnel after all? That's the question that we're going to try to answer in today's video. And, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Alright, so before I explain to you all what was the purpose of the Titanic's fourth funnel, I think we should first discuss why the Titanic even had four funnels in the first place. Well, believe it or not, when they were first designing the Titanic, early concepts of the ship's design depicted the Titanic with only having three funnels. However, before the White Star Line finalized on this design, they took a look at their competition ships. More specifically, they took a look at the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grossa, they also took a look at the Canard Lines Lusitania and Mauritania, and they also took a look at some of the other ships within these companies. And they noticed that these companies' four funnel ships were more popular among the public than their other ships that didn't have as many funnels. So, what the White Star Line concluded was that the more funnels a ship has, the more keen the public's eye was to travel on board these ships. Now, it's also important to note that with the Lusitania and Mauritania, these ships needed the four funnels, and all four funnels on these ships serviced a pair of boiler rooms. And this was also needed on these ships because these ships were some of the fastest in the Atlantic. However, the White Star Line wasn't going for speed with their Olympic-class ships like the Olympic and Titanic. They were aiming more for these ships to be some of the biggest and most luxurious in the world. So, because these ships weren't going for speed, they didn't need four funnels. They only needed three. However, the White Star Line noticed how popular the four funnel design was with the public. So, in hopes of not being outclassed by the four funnel design on their competition ships, they decided to give the Titanic a fourth dummy funnel. That way they could use this to try to entice the public to sail on their brand new ocean liners. Once the White Star Line ultimately decided to put a fourth funnel on board the Titanic, they were left with another dilemma. You see, while this fourth funnel obviously looks good on board the RMS Titanic, what you have to remember is, is that any space on a ship is precious. You know, you only have so much room to work with when it comes to deciding what ultimately to put on board a vessel. And this funnel, while, as I said, it looks good, takes up a lot of space. So, obviously, there has to be something that the White Star Line could do with this fourth funnel. The ship designers at Holland & Wolf thought about this problem for a long time, and then finally, one of them came up with a solution. They thought, okay, we have this funnel, it's not being used for any smoke from the Titanic's boiler rooms, what else could we do? And then they had the idea. <laughs> Ventilation. Yes, you heard me right. The Titanic's fourth funnel played a huge role in helping ventilate fresh air all throughout the Titanic. It's also important to note that the Titanic's galleys, while well, the ovens in these galleys were fed on coal, and they had to do something with the smoke from these ovens. And guess where the smoke went? They went out through the Titanic's fourth funnel. The Titanic's fourth funnel was also very effective in helping to pump fresh air even into the deepest parts of the Titanic using powerful electric fans. It was very effective in ventilating the air and heat from the Titanic's turbine room and engine room. So, as you can see, the Titanic's fourth funnel really did play a vital role in ensuring that fresh air was circulated all throughout the Titanic. Now, even though the Titanic's fourth funnel was very capable in ventilating air to some parts of the Titanic's interior sections, it wasn't capable of ventilating fresh air all throughout the Titanic. 
You see, traditionally what ships use in order to help ventilate fresh air to deep sections of the ship's interior was they use something that's called cowl vents. And they're basically these tube-like things that you see sticking out of ship's decks. These are cowl vents and this is how they pump fresh air to deep sections of the ship's interior. Now, while the Titanic's fourth funnel was very capable in ventilating air throughout the ship, it couldn't do the job completely on its own, and the Titanic did have some of these cowl vents scattered throughout the ship. However, because the fourth funnel was so capable in ventilating air to some sections of the ship, they didn't need anywhere near as many cowl vents as what they would traditionally need on other ships that didn't have this fake fourth dummy funnel to help ventilate air. Take a look at the Canard Line ship Mauritania here. You can see all these little red circles all throughout the ship are all on top of the ship's deck. Well, these are cowl vents that the Mauritania had to use to ventilate fresh air into the ship's interior sections. And of course, if you look at models of the Titanic, you'll see that these ships had nowhere near that many cowl vents on the deck. This is because the fourth funnel played a huge role in help ventilating fresh air throughout the ship's interior, so this many cowl vents wasn't needed. And believe it or not, the Titanic's fourth funnel also served one more cool function. You see, the shipbuilders at Holland and Wolf decided to use the fourth funnel to add one more charming little feature to the Titanic. In the Titanic's first class smoking room, believe it or not, there was an actual coal burning working fireplace. And guess where the smoke from this coal burning fireplace vented through? You guessed it, the Titanic's fourth funnel. So, as you can see, while it is true that the Titanic's fourth funnel wasn't connected to any of the Titanic's boiler rooms and didn't vent any smoke from the ship's boilers, I don't really think you could call the Titanic's fourth funnel a fake funnel anymore, because the fourth funnel really did do a lot in helping run shipboard operations on board the Titanic. The fourth funnel was very much responsible for helping ensure that everybody on board the Titanic had fresh air to breathe. It dealt with all the smoke from the ship's galleys. It dealt with the smoke from the coal burning fireplace in the first class smoking room. And I mean, the fourth funnel really did do a lot. So I don't really think it's fair to call it a fake funnel anymore. You know, I think it'd be more appropriate to call it a, I don't know, a, off the top of my head, a ventilation funnel. <laughs> Anyway, that's just something I came up with right now. But, fun fact, there's actually another story with the Titanic's fourth funnel. Now, I'm not sure if this story is true or not, but it is something that I heard about, and I figured I would close out this video with it. One thing we didn't touch on in this video is that the Titanic's fourth funnel also had a bunch of uh, ladders in it. So somebody, if they wanted to, could climb up the ladders inside the fourth funnel and peek out from the Titanic's fourth funnel top. You know, they could peek their head over the side and look around down at the Titanic's deck and so on. And as I said, I don't know if this story is true, but there is a story out there that one of the Titanic's firemen climbed up the ladders inside the fourth funnel and peeked out over the side and looked down. And then one of the Titanic's passengers happened to look up and see this person leaning out over the fourth funnel and where she didn't realize that the fourth funnel was fake, it scared her half to death. You know, she's like, what the heck is that? What is that up there in the fourth funnel? Now, as I said, I can't confirm this story or not, but I thought this story was a fun way to end this video. Anyway, guys, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about the Titanic. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure you leave it a like, be sure to subscribe. And hey, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode when we officially finish up the Lusitania Timeline series. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to my Captain Level Patreon supporters, Jeffrey Clayton, Dakota Charbonneau, Moosh, and Greg Gallick. Thank you all so much for all the support.